up everybody hey cody work here before we get into today's video i just wanted to take some time to announce that i've partnered up with DraftKings sportsbook here on the youtube channel and DraftKings sportsbook is the top rated sportsbook app out there on the market today and i trust where my money goes when i make a deposit with DraftKings sportsbook i trust that my money is in safe and secure hands and i like to take part in weekly parlay action folks whether it's three games four games and when i'm feeling dicey i like to go to six game parlays and i want you to sign up today at DraftKings sportsbook by clicking on the link in the description below and using promo code Rourke. That is R-O-A-R-K, promo code Rourke with DraftKings Sportsbook app. Let's get into today's film review. The Broncos defense held Kansas City to 0 for 4 in the red zone. So that's our focus on today's film review. And this is a phenomenal play by Alexander Johnson right here. Now, as you can see, the Chiefs at the start of the formation, they are in a 2x2. Two two, and they're going to motion all the way across. So saying Bassey is going to bump down. That leaves two coverage guys over the top with Michael Ojemudia playing on the outside. Kareem Jackson playing on the inside of Sammy Watkins. And what's going to happen here? Alexander Johnson is spying Le'Veon Bell out of the backfield. He makes a phenomenal move against this lineman right here. I'm going to pause it. He's going to have these two guys coming out to block him. He fights underneath the double team. He makes the play here on Le'Veon Bell to stop him at the pretty much the line of scrimmage at this point from where it was on second down. That's going to force a third down. That's a good play here by Alexander Johnson. Now, let's take a look at it pre-snap. What are the Broncos in? Draymond Jones, he's lined up in a three technique. Shelby Harris, he's lined up in a three technique. We've seen the Broncos try to collapse the pocket around quarterbacks when they're in double threes. They're going to send the outside guys wide to create that bow around Patrick Mahomes. That's the one way you can limit the opportunities he has to scramble on the outside. Now what's going to happen is when you cheat everything down, you try to get this leak out here. Alexander Johnson, instead of him taking the outside track here, which I think was great because you have Michael Ojemudia, Kareem Jackson, He's going to take the inside track because you know he has help on the outside. Smart football play there. There's a Sang Bassey. Makes a cutback and makes a tackle. Good play there by Alexander Johnson. Chiefs earlier on this drive got away with the false start. On the Broncos right here, they get away with a little bit of an encroachment that does not get called. I mean, it's debatable. Don't really see a clear neutral zone infraction. But anyways, Denver in a too high safety look right here on this play. They're playing some cover two man. Everybody is man oh man all together here, and it's great to have a you know safety help over the top here. But for Denver on this play, Le'Veon Bell is going to run the swing route, and he's going to turn it upfield. Uh, right here, Travis Kelsey is going to reverse pivot here. Michael Ojemudi, a great contact. He's going to come inside lobby for a call. And then right here, you're going to have vertical route, and then you're going to have a slant route here by Sammy Watkins, and then a deep over route by Tyreek Hill here, and Justin Sims is going to get over the top. Kareem Jackson playing back as well. Denver does a pretty good job right here. They get a stop on this play, and for Denver, I mean, like I said, pressure, it came. Shelby Harris getting his hand on the ball here. Denver disguised their coverage and pressure looks all evening long. They never stayed in the same defensive front. They never showed the same thing, and as you can see right here, Bradley Chubb, he's lined up in a stand-up. Demarcus Walker, he's lined up in a zero. We've seen the Broncos do a lot of that. Shelby Harris, he's even lined up in a stand-up with Alexander Johnson playing man alignment against Le'Veon Bell out of the backfield. Malik Reed obviously having a great year for the Broncos. Six and a half sacks all together here. But you're going to see the combination, the swing route. You're going to see the inside route here by Travis Kelsey. Great contact by Michael O.J. Mudia. But you can see right here as well, Demarcus Walker lined up in the zero. He's going to cross phase of the center and the guard. Shelby Harris is going to come on the outside. Same thing with Bradley Chubb. He's going to command two guys. Malik Reed's going to come free. Shelby gets his hand up, knocks the ball down at the line of scrimmage. Good job here. Dikembe Mutombo would be very proud of what Shelby Harris is able to do. The Broncos on this play, they're going to come up with a big stop. A.J. Boye against McCall Hardman, who's going to run the motion, and it's a sprint pass. He's going to run a deep out route, five and a half yards past the sticks. A.J. Boye, he's our guy to watch on the play here. He does a phenomenal job here. The Broncos adjusted. They showed different coverage looks against the Chiefs. They bent but didn't break. They showed that mantra there. Great flip of the hips there by Boye. Knocks the ball down, almost intercepts it. Has a chance there. Good stop for the Broncos here. Obviously, take a look at the defensive front for Denver. What are they in? Well, you have a three technique with Draymond Jones, and you have a two eye, or you I mean you could call this a straight up two because he's almost head up with the guard, kind of inside shade. So we could call that a two eye. 
motion coming all the way across. It's saying Bassey is going to follow. You're going to have extra help here. And because of the fact that you have one, two, potentially three, and then a fourth option, everyone's going to cheat over. So Josie Jewell is going to bump over on this as well. And he's going to play dump off here against number 19. Number 19 is going to chip. And he's going to have a little bit of a clear out. But Patrick Mahomes here on sprint pass. It's a simple look for him. Fake the inside handoff here. Sprint pass out. Try to throw it quickly. He wants his receiver to come back to the ball. Now right here, if he wants to, he could throw it to 19. Bassey will come up here. And then Josie Jewell will track on the inside. You can get the yards there. Absolutely. But he's going for his guy, McCole Hardman, to the outside. Great reaction right there. A.J. Boy, if he could just come up with an interception, that could have been a tight turner for the Broncos defensively. First off, what a play here by the Kansas City Chiefs. What a great effort play here as well by Shelby Harris, folks. I want you guys to keep an eye on him. But here's what's going to happen, okay? They're going to motion. Patrick Mahomes is under center. They have Le'Veon Bell right here. What's going to happen is they're going to motion all the way across, fake the handoff, and then Tyree Kill is going to get it on the outside. Travis Kelsey is going to come up underneath and be a blocker, and then you're going to have a block out here on a one-on-one, -on -one, and you're just going to try to get numbers here all together. Kansas City can run a variety of plays. Though. They can run a pass play out of this with Travis Kelsey dumping up to the flat. They can do that, but this is a handoff here. Fake the inside handoff to Le'Veon Bell. Here comes Tyree Kill. Here comes your block. You're going to have that. Here's your block right here. And then here's Shelby Harris backtracking, folks. I want to find him. Where is Shelby? Here's Shelby. He sees the play. This is a freaking phenomenal effort play. Look at the angle. This is a pursuit drill. This is a clinic of what you want your guys to be able to do in pursuit. Shelby Harris takes the great angle. He doesn't try to chase from behind. He takes an angle and does exactly what he's supposed to. But because of the motion coming across this side, guess what the Broncos defense is going to do? This is by design by the Kansas City Chiefs. They want to create flow to the right side of the field for their perspective. And then they want to hit you coming back left side. They want a numbers advantage. And that's where Travis Kelsey is going to come out as a lead blocker. Le'Veon Bell is going to fake the inside handoff. You have Tyree Kill coming across the end here. And then it's just, if your blockers can win their one-on-one -on -one matchups all together, then you're going to be an advantage. Now, Shelby Harris right here, folks. Spotlight on him. He's going to take an angle, right? He knows Tyree Kill is coming to the outside. Kareem Jackson does a pretty good job coming downhill here. He runs into his own guy. Shelby Harris here saves a touchdown. Now, Michael Ojemudia, he slips. Kareem Jackson slips. It's saying Bassey's in trail tech. The only guy preventing Tyreek Hill from getting a touchdown, Shelby Harris. And he's going to make a phenomenal play tracking this down and hitting Tyreek Hill. Huge effort play for Shelby. Kansas City got a little too fancy here on this play. They're going to walk out Patrick Mahomes. He's going to walk back, fake the handoff. It's going to be a direct snap to Le'Veon Bell here. He's going to have a lead blocker coming on the inside here from the tight end position or the wing position. This is just Kansas City getting too cute, right? They're going to fake the snap right in time for Patrick Mahomes to get it. I mean, not like he's going to really carry out the jet sweep. They could. I don't see them risking their quarterback on a play right there. Direct snap, follow, and then Demarcus Walker and Bradley Chubb do a great job of making the play here. Kareem Jackson's heated. They're not blowing the whistle. That was a long football play there. Denver had him wrapped up at the two-yard line, and they weren't making any calls. They weren't blowing the whistle dead, anything along those lines here. But now it's just getting tricky, right? You're really not going to get Patrick Mahomes here. We haven't seen that yet. I mean, they could go to it, but very unlikely. So guess what? It's direct snap inside. Backside block right here by the tight end, number 82. And then here comes Demarcus Walker right here. He's going to come free. Bradley Chubb's going to squeeze it down. Does a phenomenal job here. Denver just wraps him up at the two-yard line. That Broncos defense swarmed yesterday when it mattered the most. And I think they gave a little bit of a formula to some of the rest of the NFL on maybe how to limit Kansas City's explosive opportunities. I don't ever want to see an argument on social media ever again that Justin Simmons is just a ball hawk. He is an all-around safety. He comes up against the run. He smacks people. He covers in the pass. Now, Kansas City, they're getting a little tricky here. We call this a three-back pistol, right? You got one, two, three. A lot of teams run the power out of this pistol formation. And ideally, you could fake an inside handoff right here to Le'Veon Bell. And then you can have a lead blocker. Or you could run the option play. Fake the inside here. Mahomes could come down here. You have your option guy, Tyreek Hill, and then you have a block right here. You could pitch option it, or he could keep it, right? He'd more than likely in a quarterback pitch relationship option with the tailback. I know I just threw a lot at you there. He would have quarterback, and they would need a guy to play pitch man. So ideally, you're hoping that this safety could come up and play pitch man. Corner also becomes a pitch man guy as well. That's not the play here, though. They're just going to run a simple underneath right here 
Inside handoff, and then Justin Simmons does a great job. Malik Reed does a great job taking his tackle out. The Broncos defense front plugs everybody up. Simmons comes in and makes the play, makes the stop here alongside Alexander Johnson. And this is a big stop at the one-yard line for Denver. Shout out to that Broncos defensive front too. Sylvester Williams, Deshaun Williams, Shelby Harris, Draymond Jones. These guys are all working. And guess what? They're on the goal line. So you know what? You have head up matchups all across the board. And you're hoping you can step outside. He's going to fill here. And you just want bodies, right? You just want to be able to create a pile and then hopefully wrap up. That's exactly what happens. Now, Justin Simmons does a great job. Malik Reed's got the one-on-one -on -one here. Because of pressure here, Draymond Jones coming through. You could argue this could be a potential hold. Simmons is going to come through the open gap. Alexander Johnson is going to come and help out as well. They're going to wrap up Le'Veon Bell here at the two-yard line. He's not going nowhere, folks. Kansas City is one of the best red zone offenses in the NFL, and they can do so many different things out of so many different formations, so many different concepts. And what they're going to do is they're going to motion 11 across Robinson, and then they're actually going to hand this ball off to Tyreek Hill. Robinson is going to be a lead blocker for him. Hill's going to come to the outside, and Mahomes is going to hand it off here. They can run so many different plays out of this. They could run the option this side. They can also run, fake the inside handoff here, and just follow quarterback lead. I mean, they could have blockers. They could have the one-on-one -on -one matchups, but instead... You're going to see the motion here. You're going to see Tyreek Hill bow out as well. And right about there, Denver does a good job. This is tough because you have to respect quarterback and tailback, right? So that's where the Broncos have the cornerback helping. Bradley Chubb, interior D. Lyman, Alexander Johnson, and then Kareem Jackson spy on the other side of the field here. But what's going to happen is Denver does a great job staying home. Malik Reed, it starts with him. Broncos in defensive interior getting some interior penetration. These guys become outside run defenders as well. They got to be responsible for bowing it out wide. And Malik Reed does a great job here because he allows his defenders time to get up because there's not going to be any blocks out here. So Tyreek Hill has to go wide. He has to go outside. Broncos take great pursuit angles. A.J. Boye, hip to hip, stutter. He's going outside. He's going to follow as well. Follow the near hip. Try to push him out of bounds. And he's going to step out at about the six-yard line here. Broncos come up with a big stop here on the red zone in the goal line. But just you really have to appreciate the dynamicness of this Kansas City Chiefs offense. Great pursuit angles all together by the Broncos defensively. Malik Reed does just enough to save a touchdown for the Broncos. Kareem Jackson comes up with a big time play here, but this is a smart concept. I just want to go through the route, the combinations here that Patrick Mahomes has for all of his guys. Broncos, they're playing out of a too high look here, but they're playing man coverage, which I love. I love the fact that they're showing different looks. They're showing it out of a too high look, rolling down coverages. And what you're going to see here, man coverage all across the board. Sammy Watkins is going to run a post route. And then Robinson right here is going to stem on the inside and try to pivot outside, but falls down and slips. Tyreek Hill, he's going to be the designated receiver. He's going to be the guy that catches it. He's going to come across right here. He's going to freeze and sit, causing the linebacker to cheat over. And then he's going to go across, catch it right here. Travis Kelsey's going to motion. He's going to run a corner route. And then you have the wheel route from the tailback in which Josie Jewell is going to play coverage on him. So Denver cornerbacks, he's going to keep whatever comes outside. He's going to obviously play that responsibility. And Justin Simmons playing over the top here of the corner route here. But ideally, this is going to be a play where you can see this Chiefs offense. They have smart football players. They understand spacing. Now, right here, see how Tyreek Hill settles? He understands that. There's a little bit of a spot right here because Josie Jewell's spot dropping outside and then Alexander Johnson's playing right here on the middle. Now, because of that, Johnson's going to pivot. He's going to attack forward on Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill's going to see that. He finds a soft spot once again. And then Mahomes delivers a strike. He's going to catch it. But guess what? You have pursuit angles. Johnson here. Kareem Jackson downhill here. Michael Ojemudia here. And then Draymond Jones is going to come backside. So Tyreek Hill is going to have to reverse pivot to the outside and try to get something. Kareem Jackson takes a great angle, great effort play. Knocks him out at about the five-yard line with some force, too, right before halftime. Once again, smart play design by the Kansas City Chiefs. Good discipline by the Broncos defensively. What is the defensive front end? Well, if you look, Shelby Harris is playing in the apex. More than likely, he's going to be in that three technique attack in here. Draymond Jones, he's playing in the apex as well. Malik Reed, Bradley Chubb, they want to make sure that Mahomes can't get to the outside. They're, they're maintaining that edge discipline while not completely collapsing on the interior. Tyreek Hill settles, makes a great catch. Good pursuit angle here by Kareem Jackson, man. He's a pit bull. The Denver Broncos lead the NFL defensive line-wise with passes batted down at the line of scrimmage. Shelby Harris, folks, right here, once again, is going to come up big. And this is going to be a pass that's intended for Sammy Watkins. And look, it's open. And if 
you know, Shelby Harris doesn't get his hands up here. This is arguably an easy touchdown because there's a window, right? How many times have we seen Patrick Mahomes fire this pass into a tight window? You got these guys covered up here, Travis Kelsey, and then the the running back in one-on-one coverage here. Michael Ajimudi, a little bit too far outside leverage. This could be an easy touchdown, but Shelby Harris gets his hands up, bats the pass down, and it's going to fall incomplete. Big time play from Shelby Harris. Made his return, and this is three seconds left right before halftime. The Chiefs would have to settle for a field goal. Part of the Broncos holding them to an 0 for 4 in the red zone attempt. And then bam, right there, as you can see, pass batted down, incomplete to Kembe Mutombo. This is a great play right here by Jeremiah Atauchu. Now you're going to have crash down here from the fullback, the tight end, and then Travis Kelsey's going to also release for a route here. But the running back's going to run a flat route here. Patrick Mahomes, he's going to go play action. This is just play action, quick little bootleg. Jeremiah Atauchu right here does a great job because he reroutes the tailback easily, which allows Alexander Johnson time to scrape underneath and to be able to fill in if Mahomes is going to throw it. Because of pressure in his face, he dumps it off quickly. Running back's not able to body adjust to it. It's going to fall incomplete. Big time play there. But Jeremiah Tauchu, this was a great play for him. Impacted the outcome of this result. What are the Broncos in here? Because this is what we call unbalanced. You take a look at it. They have more guys to one side of the field than the other side. Two guys over here and you have five guys to the left side of the field. We call that unbalanced. So guess what? Out of unbalanced, you're going to run the leak out here with the tailback to the flat. You're going to run that play action bootleg. And you're going to try to get something quick, right? Because ideally it's a... Three and a half man route combination. You got the running back, Travis Kelsey, and then number 82. That's the route combination that you're going to see. And then the guy on the outside here. But, but great job. Great reroute right there. Nobody is open. Coverage here. Coverage here. Coverage here by Kareem. And then Josie Jewell does a great job right here. So Patrick's going to dump it off quickly. Hard to play for that. I mean, Le'Veon Bell hit him in the hands. Hard play to adjust to that. It's going to fall incomplete. The Broncos get a stop here, but unfortunately at the cost of losing is saying Bassey. As you can see, is saying Bassey's right here. He's going to guard Sammy Watkins. I want you guys to keep an eye on him. The Broncos, Shelby Harris is going to make a tackle of Patrick Mahomes after one yard here. But ideally, keep an eye on a saying Bassey right here, folks. Just watch. This is a non-contact ACL injury right there. Right? That little bit of that hyperextension, the plant foot. He goes down. Absolutely bummed for this kid. He's been a phenomenal player for the Broncos this year. He's going to have to wait till next year to get back into the action. And, and the Broncos missed him a little bit in this game in the second half. I mean, it was evident when he watched it. Duke Dawson had some struggles, but not bad coverage there by Bassey. That plant foot right there just hyperextends on the field. Broncos get a stop, but Bassey out for the rest of the 2020 NFL season. The Broncos have gotten a lot of coverage sacks this season. It's really been predicated by their strong play in the secondary. The Broncos featured the seventh-ranked passing secondary in the National Football League, and they're going to cover really well here. It's going to force Jeremiah Atauchu. He's right here on your screen. He's going to come up with the sack. Broncos defensive front features Draymond Jones and Shelby Harris and Bradley Chubb. Motion coming up on the inside, so guess what? Josie Jewell is going to cheat down, and everyone else is playing outside in here. Now, what you're going to see, Shelby Harris slips up a little bit, Jeremiah Tauchu absolutely manhandles his matchup here. Bradley Chubb's going to celebrate with him, but let's go back on the other angle. Let's take a look at it. What front are the Broncos in here? Draymond Jones in a three-tech, Shelby Harris in a three-tech, Jeremiah Tauchu wide, Bradley Chubb wide as well. Bradley Chubb's going to have a one-on-one -on -one here against Fisher, and then Jeremiah Tauchu's going to have a one-on-one -on -one against 75. Now he's going to crash inside, and he manhandles his guy. Shelby slips on this play initially, but watch Jeremiah. Boom! He shoves the tackle on his ass, and he's going to come across now because Bradley Chubb's coming upfield. So Jeremiah Tauchu is going to come underneath, pick up the sack, Broncos coverage holds, and that's going to be a field goal tip forced for Kansas City.